This is a brief demonstration of Garden Tutor brand soil pH test strips. I'm going to use these to check the pH level of some miracle Grow potting mix. In the past, I had always assumed that a store-bought general purpose mix like this would have a relatively neutral pH, but I've since discovered that's not necessarily the case. To perform the test, three items are required. A tablespoon measure, a small mixing container, and some relatively pH neutral water. The manufacturer recommends using distilled water, preferably from an unopened container. Though not essential, a disposable coffee filter can also be helpful. To start, measure eight level tablespoons of soil or potting mix and place it into the mixing container. Next, add eight level tablespoons of water. Stir thoroughly and let the mixture stand for at least 20 minutes. Mix again for 10 seconds and then let the solution briefly settle. Insert the test strip for 3 seconds. Shake the strip vigorously to remove any soil residue. Wait one minute and then compare the colors on the strip to the reference chart in the manual. Be sure to read the strip within a few minutes. As the pads dry out, the colors will change and no longer accurately represent the true pH value. If too much soil residue clings to the test strip, making it difficult to read, strain the sample through a coffee filter, letting the liquid run into a secondary container. The results of this test indicate that this particular bag of miracle Grow potting mix has a pH of between 4.5 to 5. This seems surprisingly low or acidic and initially had me concerned about the accuracy of the strips. So I decided to use the tap water in the house as a sort of reference solution. It had recently been professionally analyzed and determined to have a pH of almost exactly 7. The fact that the strips were in agreement with the professional test suggests that they are relatively accurate. If you have an interest in this product, I've left a link in the video description box below.